Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Hicksville Park Memorial Park. As uh, we are here on the Sunday, or the Saturday rather, before Easter, you'll have to excuse me, my mask is slipping. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television, and again, we're here at the Hicksville Park. It is the Saturday before Easter, and we are out here because after a one year hiatus because of COVID, it's time for the annual Hicksville Easter egg hunt. It's going to be getting underway here shortly. 1230 is the official start time. And as you can see, they've uh, got the uh, sections of the fields roped off and the eggs have been placed and they're waiting for the youngsters to come and find them. There's going to be, I think, four age categories that are going to be held today. Starting off with right, we are located right here, which is where the uh, first sec first one, two, and three year olds are going to be uh, are going to be hunting for eggs. And then I think we're moving right next door for fourth, fifth, and six year olds. And then we're going to be four, four, five, and six year olds. And then we're going to be moving across. There's another field set up for seven, eight, and nine year olds. And then the last hunt will be for nine, 10, or 10, 11, and 12 year olds. But anyway, that's basically how it's going to break down. They've also uh, got a uh, big raffle that the kids can enter. Lots of neat prizes there. They're going to be giving away some bicycles. They've got people here selling hot dogs. So it's, uh, it's a pretty big event. Uh, we already uh, you'll see some of the footage we've already shot. A really good crowd that is here for the day. And uh, looking forward to it. People still rolling in. The registration is uh, underway until uh, just before the uh, first egg hunt at 1230. And a good crowd has uh, shown up here at the park for this event today. You can tell people uh, missed it last year and have been looking forward. And we've got people from all around the Hicksville area. And actually, we've got people here from all around Northwest Ohio and a lot of people here from over in Indiana as well uh, for the egg hunt here this afternoon. So we're glad to have you with us here on Hicksville Community Television. We'll be bringing you each egg hunt as it happens. And uh, we're hoping that we'll be able to stick around uh, and uh, maybe even bring you some of the results for the, uh, the raffle drawings and the prize giveaways. It's a cool day, kind of gloomy and overcast. They were hoping for some sunshine and it is supposed to warm up a little bit later, but it hasn't happened just yet. But that's all right. It may be a little breezy and a little gloomy and a little cool, but the spirits are high and everybody's looking forward to a terrific time. The Easter Bunny is here. Lots of folks coming out for the egg hunt. And we're glad to be able to be here with the cameras. And we hope you enjoy the coverage as it's coming up right here on Hicks TV. And as you can see, they're beginning to uh, line up. First up is going to be ages one through three. And as you can see, they have a, a smaller area cordoned off for the younger kids. And I think that they allow a little parental assist uh, for some of the younger ones as well, who may not be quite as mobile. But a lot of eggs scattered in the field before us. So plenty of opportunities for all the youngsters to be able to fill their baskets. They made the official announcement, and again, uh, the people are slowly working their way down. This will be the first of four egg hunts here at the park on this blustery Saturday. Thought the clouds were going to break up, and we were going to get a little sunshine a few moments ago, but they closed back up over our head and back to being a little bit on the gloomy side. We're glad to have you with us. Again, it's the 2021 Hicksville Village Easter Egg Hunt happening here at the Hicksville Memorial Park. We're just down a ways from the Rotary Pavilion. If you're familiar with the way the park is laid out, we're just across from the water tower and the track. Down a ways from the high school football stadium. And they're making another call right now for ages one to three to come down by the batting cages.
And as the crowd continues to work its way down, we'll wait for the official start, which hopefully won't be too much longer. Everybody ready? We'll count it down. Come on, Carol, you're holding up the line. All right, on three, two, one, go. And we're underway. And there go the youngsters scrambling to get those eggs. Now, generally speaking, usually this is the egg hunt that lasts the longest because of the limited mobility of the little kids. And the later hunts that will be coming up for the older children will go significantly faster. But you can see the youngsters are out having a great time gathering up those eggs. So that, as you can see, pretty much wraps up the age one, two, and three-year-olds. And now we're going to move, I believe we're just going to be going next, uh, right next to us in the first ball field, where we'll have uh, ages four, five, and six. Yes. They'll be lining up across from us, and when the... Again, they give them the signal to go. We'll be able to bring you the action as they'll be charging right towards us to get those eggs. Again, Corey Wan acting as the master of ceremonies from the Hicksville Village Council. And there's Councilman Mike Barth here as well, doing some photogra photography. Some photo photography. <laughs> I can spit it out. Some photography for the Tribune. And Corey, of course, uh, before being on Village Council, longtime member of the Park Board and instrumental in putting this event together. So he's moving around to uh, get ready to make the announcement for the second egg hunt coming up here shortly. And again, this will be for ages four, five, and six. Again, you're watching the 2021 Hicksville Community Easter Egg Hunt here on Hicksville Community Television.
I'm Bill Murphy. Amy Murphy here with me today, helping out, running the camera. And we're glad to have you with us. Hope you're enjoying our coverage from this afternoon's event. And they're off. And here come the ages four, five, and six-year-olds. Coming right towards us, looking for those eggs. And as we said, it goes a little quicker when you get to the older ages. As it uh, looks like the field pretty much has been picked clean of eggs here. And now we've moved across the uh, street to the site of the third egg hunt of uh, this Saturday afternoon. This will be for kids age seven, eight, and nine. As you can see, they're lining them up across from us, across the uh, back of the baseball diamond by the backstop. They'll get everybody in position, and again, Corey Wan will count down from three, and they'll turn them loose, and they'll be heading our way, gathering up eggs as they go. This will be the third of uh, the four egg hunts scheduled for this afternoon. We've already seen the one, two, and three-year-olds, and the four, five, and six-year-olds. So now we're getting ready for seven, eight, and nine-year-olds. And then our final egg hunt of the afternoon will be for the 10th, 11, 10, 11, and 12-year-olds. We'll be moving across to the next field over for that one. Corey Wan making sure that everybody who is eligible to participate in this hunt is lined up and ready to go. As, uh, yeah, clouds have parted behind us and we're getting some sunshine here. And you can feel the warmth of the sun. I don't know how long it'll last, but we'll enjoy it while we can. And as you can see, all the eggs become very vibrant in the sunshine and easy to spot. So far, it's been a fun day out here at the park. The kids have been enjoying themselves immensely. And we're getting ready to get, uh, again, our third egg hunt of the afternoon underway. And here they go. And we're glad we're behind a nice chain link fence because they're barreling at us full speed.
And just like that, it looks like they've pretty much cleared the field. A few separated egg shells that are being checked out by the by the kids to make sure nothing has been overlooked. And they and start making their way back towards the dugouts and off of the field. Now over at our final ball field, the final egg hunt of this afternoon. This will be for kids who are 10, 11, and 12 years of age. And again, as you can see, the field well salted with eggs and they've begun lining the youngsters up. After this, I think that uh, I think they're planning on doing some drawings for some bicycles and some of the uh, raffle items. We're not sure what the timing is going to be for that, whether we'll be able to stick around for those drawings or not. We'll find that out. But we're definitely going to be here for the fourth and final egg hunt of the day. And again, this one will go very fast. The 10, 11, and 12-year-olds don't mess around. They're out there. They get their eggs, and they don't waste much time. <laughs> so far, it's been a great afternoon. The kids have had a great time. They've been very well behaved. There haven't been any issues or any problems, at least not that we've been, we've seen or been made aware of. And it's just been a, a fun afternoon for the youngsters. Weren't able to do it last year because of the COVID shutdown. And the village wanted to make sure that if it was at all possible to hold this event for the kids, they were able to do so for 2021. Again, Bill and Amy Murphy here with you for Hicksville Community Television. Hope you are enjoying the coverage. It's been a lot of fun. A little bit cooler than we thought it might be, but we've been starting to see some breaks in the clouds and some occasional sunshine. It's starting to warm up a little bit, slow but sure. So a beautiful spring day in the making on this Saturday for the Saturday before the Easter holiday weekend. And we want to thank you for joining us for our Easter egg hunt coverage here on Hicksville Community Television, whether you're with us on Mediacom Channel 12, on the Hicks TV YouTube channel, watching video on demand, whatever the case may be. Glad to have you with us. As again, this will be the final egg hunt right, of 2021. All right, in three, two, one, go. And they're underway. And as you can see, they're sweeping their way from the middle of the field towards the sides, filling up their baskets or their bags, whatever the case may be.
And it looks like they're pretty much done. <laughs> Again, it does not take long at all when you get to the older age groups. And so again, that's ages 10, 11, and 12. As they have uh, picked the field clean, found all the eggs, and are making their way back now towards the dugout. And then they'll head over towards the shelter house. And await the drawings for the bicycles and the other raffle prizes. All right, everybody. First item is going to be the Marshall Paw Patrol right on red ticket. Last three numbers, 205. 205. Bring your winning ticket up. All right, the next is for the Sky Paw Patrol right on. Again, red ticket, last three numbers. Five, three, zero, five, three, zero. is going to be 8596 This one is for the uh, Ohio State cooler and all the other goodies. All right, for the Ohio State raffle donated by Parker Hannafin, the winning number is 85100. 85 one zero zero. One zero zero.
Next raffle item, also donated by Parker Hannafin. Winning number Next item is the Bubble and Go Mower. Winning number 85529. 85529. The next item is the light up scooter. Winning number 85301. 85301. Next item is the frozen scooter. Eight four eight five nine. Eight four eight five nine. Next item is a Easter basket full of suckers and chocolates donated by Lindsay Thiel. <laughs> Winning number 84721. 84721. Next item is a little Easter basket with some books and a little Easter bunny. Winning number 84939. 84939.
All right, next item is a stuffed Easter bunny. 85389. 85389. Next item is a movie night basket. Winning number 84842. 84842. Next item is the fishing starter kit. Eight four two two one. Eight four two two one. Eight four two two one. Next item is another stuffed Easter bunny. Eight four six nine two. Eight four six nine two. Eight four six nine two. Little pink fisherman kit here. Eight four three five zero. Eight four three five zero. All right, the Trolls Blanket, 85127, 85127. Eight five one two seven. Eight five one two seven. 
All right, next item is the two Ohio State glass box and the $50 shell gas card. Next item is the squirrel feeder picnic table donated by Four County Career Center. 84993. 84993. by Four County Career Center, number 84375, 84375. This is for the large chair that's been donated by Four County Career Center here. Number 84747. 84747. And as you can have heard, you know, that takes care of the gift raffles. And again, a lot of people getting some nice stuff. And I believe we still have some bicycles that will be given away, so. All right. This will be for the little blue bike or the orange bike. Oliver Snyder, age two, from Defiance. Oliver Snyder. Next bike, a little, a little pink girl's bike. You got your oh, choice thanks. of two here. Sorry. Paisley Ridgeway, age three, from Mark Center. Paisley Ridgeway. They get either, either one, or that one or that one. I just picked this one up because it's stand up.
Paisley Ridgeway. From Mark Center, Paisley Ridgeway. All right, for the the blue boys bike here, the little balance bike. Caden Ellis. Caden Ellis from Defiance. All right, for the little pink girls balance bike, since we didn't have a winner. Nora Eicher, age two from Hicksville. Nora Eicher. Okay, guys, you need to move back. Come on. All right, next winner, Gavin Shaw, age five, Hicksville. Gavin Shaw. Where's Gavin? Gavin Shaw. Bike. Aubrey Thompson, age five from Hicksville. Aubrey Thompson. you guys stand up against the fence okay Justinger, H5 from Antwerp. Casey Justinger. Six, Amelia 
Bumgartner from Hicksville. Amelia Bumgartner. Amelia Bumgarner. All right, next up is another girls' bike donated by Laker Hardware here in Hicksville. Elsie Clem, age nine, from Antwerp. Elsie Clem. Donated by Laker Hardware, Bowen Turner, age seven, Hicksville. Bowen Turner. Next bike will be a girl's bike. Ella Gonzalez, age seven, Hicksville. Next up is a boys bike donated by Laker Hardware. Only name I got is Levi, age nine, Holgate. Next winner, Adeline Jaso, age 10, Hicksville. Adeline Jaso. Age 10. All right, 
Next winner on this girl's bike is Braylon something here, age 10, Hicksville. The last bike is a boy's bike. The final winner, Jack Thiel, age 12, Hicksville. Jack Thiel. They were here and then. So Jack Thiel gets his name drawn and he wins the final bike for the giveaway here at the 2021 Hicksville Village Easter Egg Hunt. And with that, we're going to uh, wrap up our coverage. We hope you enjoyed all of the fun and all of the excitement from the egg hunt this year. There's again a lot of happy youngsters aged 1 through 12. Some bike winners, some other nice prize winners, and just a great fun day for the community here in the Hicksville Parks. Do want to thank you for joining us for our coverage here on Hicks TV. Hope that you have enjoyed watching all the youngsters having all this fun. And with that, we're going to wrap things up for Easter 2021. As they still are checking out the new bikes behind me. So with that, we're going to wrap things up. And once again, for Hicksville Community Television, Amy Murphy running the camera. I'm Bill Murphy. Thanks for joining us and have a safe and happy Easter.